Can you tell? What do we learn from the pictures below? The process of reproduction is shown in the pictures. Plants are seen performing process of reproduction in different ways. Bryophyllum is growing new. Living things produce other living things like themselves. Some animals give birth to their young ones. Some lay eggs. Their young ones hatch out of the eggs. New plants are produced from the seeds, stems or leaves of plants. The process by which a living thing generates a new living thing like itself is called reproduction or procreation. Excretion is a characteristic of living things. brain power. Why are so many types of plants and animals being able to survive on the earth even today? All the types of plants and animals perform process of reproduction continuously. Due to this, newer individuals of their species are added on the earth. That is why so many types of plants and a definite lifespan. At a certain stage of life, living things become capable of reproduction. After the reproduction stage, their organs become weak and still later, their life comes to an end. In other words, living things die. The lifespan of different animals and plants are different. For example, the lifespan of a dog is about 12 to 18 years, while the ostrich lives for 50 years. You may have... Do you know the lifespan of the giant turtle found on the Galapagos Island in South America is about 170 years. Observe a honeycomb and a wall. What are they made of? You may have seen the small compartments of the honeycomb. A wall has bricks. To construct a wall, we firmly a cellular structure. Some living things are made of single cell. These are called on the other hand, the living things that are made of many cells are called multicellular organisms.